Welcome back. In this episode, we are going to learn about structured outputs. So far, we have built an application using Spring AI where we interact with LLMs by prompting and then getting the response as a text, probably as markdown. But uh, that is sufficient for, let's say, if you are building a chatbot application where user asks LLM something and then it returns some textual response where user can read it, uh, that could uh, suffice the use case. But what if we are building an application where our application is going to ask LLM for some information and once the LLM returns the response, it needs to act upon the data. Let's say we are asking for some address and if the LLM returns the response as a text and if we need to parse the text to identify which part is the country name, which part is the zip code, which is the post uh, phone number, that would be really difficult because uh, a zip code might look similar to some other number. We don't know exactly which is uh, what. So this is where uh, structured outputs come into picture, where when we ask LLM, we also say, I want you to give the response in this defined structure. So LLM will understand that and uh, it will follow that uh, structure that is expected from the users and try to return the response in that uh, format. So let us see how we can achieve that by using uh, some examples. I have created another module uh, for structured outputs. So here I took the same code from the previous module but then refactored the chart controller to return the response in a structured format way. So in the previous episode, we have seen if we are asking LLMs to give some title suggestions for a specific topic, and we also wanted to return a n number of title suggestions, and we use this prompt template earlier. But uh, in the previous episodes, we have seen how we can ask this uh, prompt, and then we get the uh, text response, likely in a markdown format. But I want to return a response in a, uh, a record like this title suggestions response and here I am uh, returning all the titles as a list of strings. So here instead of asking uh, LLM in a plain format we can say so usually this is uh, at the end of the prompt we can specify this uh, format uh, placeholder and then we need to specify which format we want to uh, return uh, the response. So here we specified the format uh, token here and we have used a list output converter and while passing the variables in addition to the topic and also the count, we also need to specify what format we want to return. We can take uh, the format name as output converter.get format. So similar to list output converter, there is a map output converter and also bean output converter. So in this case, let's first understand how this works. So here it is going to uh, specify what is the format we are, uh, we are asking the LLM to return the response in. And then rest of the thing is same. But the key part is once we uh, got the response as a text, we are taking this output converter dot convert and response because we are assuming that this response is going to be in a uh, format that can be converted into a list of strings because we asked for it. And once we got the uh, response and then we are using this to convert to whatever the type we want and then we are constructing this title sessions of response. So let us uh, invoke this API endpoint. I have already started the application and here I am uh, going to fire this API call and uh, asking the topic for Spring Boot tips and tricks and count let's say five and I'm going to trigger this API endpoint. Now the expected outcome is a JSON format with a titles uh, field containing th uh, five elements of uh, suggestions. Let's see how the response would look like. So here you can see the response is in JSON format and it is uh, giving these titles and so now imagine from our application we don't need to parse anything by ourselves because we are already getting it as a uh, typed uh, data like list of strings. 
Now let us understand how this actually works behind the scenes. We have already enabled the logging advisor so we can see what actual prompt is being sent to the LLMs and what is the response we are getting. So here if we take a look at the prompt this is what we are asking for. I would like to give a presentation about the following and specifying the topic and give me uh, count title sessions for this topic. Make sure the title is relevant to the topic and it should be a single short sentence. That is the actual uh, prompt we are sending and also at the end we are including this format uh, placeholder. But if we take a look at the uh, logs we can see actually what prompt is being sent to the LLM. So here we can see this is the request that is being sent to the LLM. Uh, I would like to give a presentation about the following and it replace the title and count and make sure the title is relevant to the topic. So whatever we have included up to this point but instead of in the place of format here you can see spring a replace that with respond with only a list of comma separated values without any leading or trailing text example format foo bar bars so spring is spring a is taking care of adding this additional information to uh, explicitly say what is the format that we are expecting so we are not uh, including all this but Technically, we can include this here right away and then do that. But Spring A is doing it for us, making it simpler. But uh, this is only one use case. Similarly, we can also expect the response as a, a map as well. For example, let's say we want to get all the popular programming language names along with their inception years in which year the language is uh, created. So here the prompt is written all the popular programming languages and their inception year and then we are saying format uh, similar to the earlier uh, prompt. But here this time we are using map output converter. Earlier we have used list output converter because here we are expecting the format like a programming language as the key and the inception year uh, number as the value. And we are saying uh, there is no input and directly we are specifying the format to be output converter dot get format. And then we uh, make a call to the LLM and once we get the response, we are uh, converting that uh, text response into JSON and here we are getting it as a map of a string comma object and we are returning that uh, map as the response. Now let's go ahead and fire this request here. So as you can see we got the response as uh, C-Sharp 2000 Java 1995. So you can see the response we got. Let us see what Spring A is uh, sending as part of the format this time. So here you can see request is uh, written all the popular programming languages and their inception here and in, in the place of format when we are using map it is saying your response should be in JSON format. The data structure for the JSON should match this Java class Java util hash map. Do not include any explanations, only provide the RFC 8259 compliant JSON response following this format without deviation. Remove the uh, quotation JSON uh, markdown surrounding uh, the output, including the trialing uh, again uh, code block remarkers. So here, when we are asking for a specific uh, format, Spring A is taking care of including the relevant uh, explicit request saying that how exactly the format should be in. So behind the scenes Spring A is doing all this for us. Now let us take another example. So far we have seen a list output converter and then map output converter. But what if we want to get the data in a uh, Java object format for example here in the previous uh, episode we have seen we ask for uh, generating a tweet and then we get it as a text but we want to get it as a bean like in this case a record. I want the actual content of the tweet as a string uh, but I want the hashtags to be as a uh, separate uh, list of string object. So here this is the response I want and this time I am going to use bean output converter. 
So here I am saying be an output converter of what is the type I want the response to be of. Like uh, once I created this and same again, we send the uh, format and the format is once we uh, get by calling the get format. And once we get the response, again, we use bean output converter, convert of the response, and it is converting that JSON response into tweet object. So this is how it is. And now let us trigger this uh, endpoint. Now let us see how Spring A is specifying to return the response in certain object format. So here, if you see, we get the uh, response in JSON format and it is uh, in line with tweet object where we have a content and then list of uh, hashtags. So we get the response properly. Uh, but the interesting part is how it formulated the prompt. So if we take a look at the prompt, so this is all the system prompt and uh, let us see. This is our uh, actual uh, prompt, generate a tweet for the following content, uh, blah, blah, blah. And this is where Spring A uh, does it magic of specifying the format. It needs uh, uh, the response. So your response should be in JSON format. Do not include any explanations, only provide. Uh, so this looks similar to earlier. Do not include any markdown code blocks, uh, remove the JSON uh, markdown formats. But this is where it is specifying a JSON schema uh, according to which the LLM should uh, send the response. Here you can see this is a JSON schema uh, specifying the type is of type object and it should have the properties of type content which is of type string and then there is a hashtag property which is of type array each item is of type string. So additional properties false. So this is all the magic that is happening behind the scenes so that we can simply from our application say, uh, return me the response uh, that should look like a tweet object. So behind the scenes, it is all happening. So that is how Spring A is uh, making it easier to interact with the LLM and then extracting the data and uh, giving it, giving us uh, a data in the format of our type of safe objects. So uh, this is how you can use uh, structured outputs to get the data in the format that we decided. So uh, I hope it is clear. And if you are building an application and you want to get the response in a certain way, this is how you can specify uh, structured outputs and then get the response. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.